significant digits. Okay, hopefully we'll be able to clear any uh, problems that we may have had um, on significant digits last year in the, uh, the physics component. So the digits that you record when you measure something are called significant digits. Significant digits include the digits that you are certain about and a final uncertain digit that's your estimate. Okay, as we said with the other ones, the 8.25 centimeters, that, that five at the end we, was uncertain, but we were very certain for the 8.2, okay? So we have the following example. 7.28 milliliters has three significant digits. The seven and the two are certain, and the eight is pretty much our estimate. Okay, that's our uncertain digit. Okay, as we said, we are certain for the 7.2. We are uncertain about that eight. Could be seven, could be eight, could be seven, nine, nine, nine. That would bump that one to the eight. Okay, we don't know exactly. Now, when counting the number of significant figures in a number, count all digits except for the zeros that are used as placeholders. Okay, we're going to use the term placeholders, show the value of the number. We have a number like 1 million. All those zeros are placeholders that show us the value of 1 million. We take away those zeros, the value now changes. So they're placeholders to show us value of a number. So, significant digits rule. All, all digits included in a stated value, except for leading zeros, and these are zeros at the beginning or zeros at the end. Zeros at the end are the ones like a million. There's the one followed by all these zeros. Okay, leading zeros in front are like 0 0.0005. Those zeros are not considered significant, but we'll talk about um, the zero rule in a moment. 27.5 meters. What is the number of significant digits? Three. Three. Okay. So the note is pretty much all non-zero digits are considered significant. Okay. So any number that is not a zero is significant. So one through nine, they're all significant. The two, seven, the five. Okay. With that rule in mind, now technically we can say that the one and the uh, six are significant digits. Okay. But in fact... We also have here three significant digits because zeros that are in between non-zero numbers are considered significant. Okay, so if a zero is between two other digits, then it is considered significant. 350 grams. This example, how many significant digits? Two significant digits. Okay, so any zero that are to the right, and these are considered placeholders of other digits in a whole number are not significant. Okay. So the three, the five, but the zero is there to show me how big this number is. Okay. 12.00 liters, four significant digits. Any zero to the right of a decimal, but that is following. Okay, that's following numbers. Okay, are not, are considered significant. If they were not, they wouldn't be written. Because if I was to take away these zeros from my answer and just write down 12 liters, is 12 liters the same as 12.00 liters? Yeah. Yes, it is. Okay. So why did I include it? It means I want to put a significance on these numbers. Okay. Remember, these three are certain digits plus the one uncertain digit. So that's why we've included that significant digit. It's our uncertain digit. Uh, 0 0.038 kilograms. How many significant digits? Three. Two. Here. This zero. Okay. Students have a tendency to write numbers like this. Okay. It's technically improper to just start off with a decimal. Put in a zero and then your decimal for your number if you're starting with a number that is smaller than one so always start off with the zero and that's really there just for looks that's for appearance that's for technicality this zero is a placeholder it's like putting these zeros it's just showing you what place value the other numbers are 
Okay. So, the rule is zeros to the left of other digits are not significant. Uh, these are also considered placeholders. Okay. When is a zero significant? That's really the hardest part of significant digits. It's when to include the zeros as significant digits. When are they not considered significant digits? So think of the following. If I was to remove the zero from my number, does it change the value of my number? So remember that zeros in between non-zero numbers are always significant. Okay? If a zero is between two numbers, it's always significant. Okay? So that, that rule doesn't apply. The above rule doesn't apply. So, yes, it changes the value. No, it doesn't change the value. So if, I, if it changes the value, if I remove the zeros from my number <coughs> and it changes the value, it's considered not significant, the zeros. If it does not change the value of my number, it is considered significant. And again, we put the asterisks here because remember that zeros in between non-zero numbers are always significant. Those zeros do not apply to the rule. Okay, so here we have the first measure, one million. Okay, let's look at the changes. One million is not equal to one, right? What do we mean by that? Well, what I did here is eat not equal to one. I tried to cross out the zeros. Are the two numbers the same? No, no they're not. So if we look at, did it change, yes or no? Did it change? No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, it did. Because it did, are those zeros significant? No. no. How many significant digits in this value? One. One. Zero point zero 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 three four. If I remove these zeros, okay, are the two values the same? No. No, they are not. So zero point zero 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 three four is not equal to thirty four. So are those zeros significant? No. No, because they did not. Because they did change the value. So we only have the two significant digits. 57.000. If we remove those zeros, do we have the same value? Yes, yes we do. So 57.00 is equal to 57. So no, it does not change the value. Therefore, the zeros are significant. So how many significant digits in this one? Five. Five. 0 0.0600. This one's a little bit of a trick. Because we, gotta look, we cannot look at all the zeros in the same way. If I remove these zeros, do I have the same value? No. 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 So, are these significant? No. No, they're not. Now, I got to look at these zeros here. Can I remove those zeros? Yes, yes they, I can. And those, which, which mean if I take away those zeros, those are still the same. So, 0 0.060 zero is not equal to 600 if we remove these zeros. So which means that, yes, it changes the value. They're not significant. But 0 0.0600 is equal to us removing these. So which means that these zeros are significant. These are not significant. So how many significant digits do we have? Three. And last one, 82001. Point zero, if we remove, and remember what we said? Zeros in between non-zero numbers. These are in between. We know right away that they're significant. Okay, so we, we do not do this change and no change rule because they don't, they don't change. Can I remove this zero? Yeah. Yes, I can. So, the two values are the same. How many significant digits do I have? One, two, three, Six. Four, five, six. six. Okay. 